Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Biodon Aguje, and today I'm going to be showing you how to design a simple flyer for your VTU business um, using Canva desktop. I've done it together before, where you can do the same design on your mobile device or your um, app. You could check the link. So the first thing we need to do is to have a blank Canva like this, and we search for a background to use. You could search for any background you want to use, but today I'm going to be looking for a blue background. Um, you could use any you could use white so i'm going to click on this yellow this uh, blue background and i guys click to set image as background so i have the blue as my background and the next thing we'll have to look for is to find a logo if you don't have a logo for those who are just starting this business you don't have a logo you could design a logo on canva canva is just so okay so i'm going to search for logo and i'll begin to look out for here you can see different logos some are free some are premium uh, let me just choose a free one um, for this tutorial i have access to a premium you can get access you can get a, a premium account and if you do not have time or money to get that you could just um, go for the free version the free version you could still access some other features some other elements for free so uh, let me just go with this one yes um, I do not have any rationale for using this, but I will just use it. Then I'm going to change the color to white. And um, now it's time to get the name of the business. So I go to test. Then I add the name of the business. Now, um, what name should I give it? Okay. This is fine. Swift Data Services. Uh, I'm not liking this font, so I'm going to change the font to. Okay, let's change it to Monuments. And. I'm going to reduce the size as well and place it side by side. You could do it, you could you could place it above, you could put the logo on top and put the brand name on it. But today I would just want to put them side by side and I'll group them together and um, notch them upward. Yes, you can see the uh, boundary. I just want it to fall within that boundary. Then what is left? Um, I need to add something like um a tagline yes a tagline for my business so what should we include there um i could just use uh um, what should we use all right your number one data plug in nigeria <laughs> okay i think we'll just go with this it's just for the sake of this um tutorial section so I'm going to change the font to something different from the main logo. I think I would use Montserrat. Yes, Montserrat is it's actually very cool. It's very cool. Or probably let me just use Poppins. Poppins. Yeah, Poppins, Montserrat, they are cool teams. Modern, modern fonts you could use. And I'm going to be changing it to medium. I'm going to reduce the size as well. So remember I said we'd just be creating simple simple flyers so it's nothing serious is for those who do not know how to design uh, who just want to learn how to use their canva to design a flyer for themselves you don't have to do something to to you know just something simple is fine okay so i'm going to reduce the size of this tagline more and i could place it at the center or i could place it by the side uh, i think it's best to put it by make it align to the side okay so we have our logo and we have our tagline um the next thing we need to do is to actually get a rectangle and um this time around we'll be using the shape yes rectangle shape we search for rectangle and so this is where we'll be placing the price lists we'll change the color to white yes Will be change will be uh, including the price list for each of the networks we have um, in the country or the networks you want to sell their data so we'll just reduce the size a little bit um, you know just adjust accordingly then we'll duplicate um, i have my reasons for duplicating i want to ensure that um it's falling within the boundaries or the grid yes that's why i duplicated i want to see if one 
rectangle is not too big for me to use so that's why i'm doing that so you can see yeah snap it to the edges of the grid so with this now i can delete the rest yeah so i can now work on just one rectangle when i'm done with it i would then duplicate it so let's start with mtn first change the font to something very big and um, copy the price list okay And let me just add the naira sign i know this is not naira but let me just make it. you could do something different for yourself so i'll be changing the color for this so it's visible let me just leave it as black let me change it to black and so i've just imported this and i'm going to place it here change the color as well to black and um, we are going to be using the fonts we used for Yes, we'll be using our poppins and uh, use semi bold for it. And you could use bold, whichever one works. Just to ensure that it is visible enough for people to see. They do not have to squint their eyes. And um, it's now time to add a logo. You could download these logos online. Just go online and search for Nigerian Telco logos. Or Nigerian telecommunication logos search for their PNG file or if you can find a rectangle file a JPEG no problem just install them or not install download them and upload them onto Canva so I'm going to nudge this upward a little bit and do the same thing for the list of price I would have to increase the size of MTN so it's big enough and you know you have to respect the law of hierarchy uh, i might not have time to go deep into that one of these days i'm going to do another tutorial but not with canva i this is just this tutorial is just for those who want to um learn how to use canva i don't use canva actually i use photoshop illustrator and corridor for my designs so it's time to duplicate what we've just done so we could have this same one for other networks like Airtel, Glow, and Nine Mobile. So, what I'm going to do is I want to make them aligned on a straight line. So, I click on position, go to align elements, align them in the middle, and horizontally space them evenly. So that so you can see they are evenly spaced horizontally so as it stands now then i begin to work on the individual uh, boxes so i'm going to be changing this one to the other network so i'll change it to ethel i'm going to expand this so it can fit in ensure that it snaps to the center to the center of you can see the grid for you to follow Going to be changing this to uh, which one should we use? Okay, let's use glow. Then um trying to yes align it to the center, then we change this to nine mobile. Now it's time to change this logo. No, airtel. So I'm going to click on it to have my airtel. Then I'm going to place it where MTN is. I'll just try to ensure that you know remember this is just a tutorial when working on it you try to um, look for perfection i was just trying to just cook up something so uh, just try to ensure that it's looking like um it's having the same size as mtn so you delete and you replace it so what i just did for airtel now i'm going to do the same thing for the other networks i'm going to do it for glue i'm going to do it for nine mobile as well So 
so you could also look out for some other tutorials on how to make this circular but i maybe in, maybe i'll try to do a video concerning about that but it might not be for vtu uh, flyers like this it might be for other flyers so i'm going to do the same thing for nine mobile as well Remember, you could download these logos online for free. So, So ensure that it snaps to the center of the round edge, round edged rectangle. So I could just leave this price list like this. Yeah, you would be the one to edit it. I know these prices, they are different. So now we have to change the color so that they are unique to their network. So it's not just all white. So we are going to click on, um, we'll click on the rectangle. Then we we'll select this picker. This speaker would ensure that would help us to i don't know what is happening to the speaker it's supposed to yes this is what i'm looking for so with the picker you can use to select the color that you want same thing i'm going to be doing for airtel i'm going to select the picker go to the brand color i don't know what is happening to the picker this time around so uh, it's going to with it i'll be able to pick the color of the brand let me click out let me try it again So you click on this to have, then you click on that picker. Okay, yeah. I don't know why it's taking time. I guess it's my system. So I'll just look for the color I want. Um, pick um, the red. Okay. Okay, you pick on the red one. It's not looking like a tail red, but. We'll come back to that later. So same thing we are going to do for glue. I won't go for that green part because it's going to be looking like yes I'm going to go for this lemon part so you can see that each is carrying I'm going to change the test for the red for tail to white because uh, white would come out well on such backgrounds black goes well with, with uh, yellow background so and this i'm going to add borders to it <coughs> i'm going to add borders excuse me i'm going to add borders to it uh, i'll give it a white border so that it doesn't just uh, blend with um, the background so yeah you can see they're standing out so just group them uh, decide to increase this to make it bigger just play around with it let's play around with it so successfully done not does the next thing is to add another test let me Okay, so before the tests, I'm going to be adding an image. And for those who are using uh, what's it called, the premium version, it's easy. You could search for any image on on Canva. Then, but there's an alternative to it. 
you know, we want to remove this background. Yes, we want to remove this background. But if you can't remove this background, I can tell you what to do. You could just go online. That's for those who do not have a premium version. You could just go online and download the image you want. Just search for any image. Uh, download it. Then when you download that, um, you will look for... Um, okay, yes, I've been able to download it. You can look for another platform where you can remove the background. But this one, there is a feature that allows me to um, now allows me to remove the background of an image. But if you do not have the premium version, you could just search online, search for PNG files um, or download your image look for another uh, website like um, remove.bg to remove your background so but with premium version of canva i can actually use um, get an image on canva then there's a feature on canva that allows me to remove the, back, the background which i've just done so i'll add it to that site and now let me add my test so that my flyer is not looking all too empty Let's use our poppins. Let's look at the, the weight and increase the size. Yes. Okay. Okay, let me just add the other tests to it and we can wrap this up. So you could just reduce the line spacing so the spacing between the test is not just too much. I'm available to for self. You don't have to limit yourself to this uh, to this uh, test content. You could put whatever you want to put. I'm just trying to just show you how to go about it if you want to do something for yourself. Change the color. So I want I want to do something. I I don't want it to extend beyond the other tests. Let me just adjust so you could just play around, adjust your images. Uh, let me balance it and look for a guy this time around. 
Okay, let me use this guy. Mm, no, let me use this. Okay, so I did for premium version you can just remove the background easily without any issue. So uh, it needs to be turned to take the lady, the, the guy backwards. So I go to position, um, layers, and you know, you can arrange according to layers. I want the girl, the lady to be in front while the guy should be behind. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a flyer. A simple flyer for our VTU business and all you just need to do is just to download your image yes just download click on download you could download as PNG or JPEG that way you want it then click on download and that will be it Thank you very much for joining my YouTube channel. Um, that is all about designing a flyer for your VTE business on desktop. If you want for the mobile app, you could also check my video on how to do just that. Um, it's great pleasure having you all on my channel today. Thank you very much.